Je suis Zaza. Salut. Et je suis André Matos. Et on est ensemble dans moro.com. Life turns into nothing, but no more I can see in the hole. of course counted with uh, some very good musicians out from Brazil, from our home country, uh, especially because we would like to have this, this environment, you know, this, this band environment uh, and this teamwork uh, together. So for me it was a very important point, you know, to, 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 to call up um, some musicians that are, that are actually would trust not only as persons but as musicians too. So um, most of them have already worked together with me in a certain point in my life. That's the case, for instance, of Andre Zaza Hernandez, who was uh, the former guitar player for Angra. Actually, he was there in the very beginning of the band, and uh, he left the band uh, a little time before the first recordings of the first album so more um, a lot of the uh, of, of the, the, the guitar works that you can actually listen in that album they were created by Zaza back then you know and he, he left this kind of heritage you know to the band and uh, then he moved to another place in Brazil uh, to be honest it was a very old uh, wish of mine, you know, that one day I would have the chance to work together with him again, you know, something that was interrupted in the past, but was very enjoyable, and uh, right now we're having this chance, and, you know, he's fitting completely to the to the band atmosphere, and, and he's very necessary over there. The other people in the band are also the well-known uh, brothers Luis and Hugo Mariotti, and, um, yeah, we've been together for many years, and... Uh, Especially Louis, you know, he he founded Angra together with us, and uh, Fabio Ribeiro, who's the keyboard player, also used to play um, since the the Angra times as a guest musician, and right now he's uh, fixed member in the band. And in our opinion, he's also probably the best keyboard player in Brazil, for sure. And the big surprise goes to the drummer, who's a very young drummer. He's a 16-year-old only boy, but uh, he plays like an adult, and uh, he's a very natural-born talent. So some years ago, he even won the first prize in a drum contest in the USA. He was named uh, uh, as the best drummer in the Americas. Well, Sasha, c'est un bon ami. Hmm? Et, uh, we know each other for, well, right now, about 15 years, I think. And um, he's, he's taken part in the very first Angra Records already. And I established a very strong uh, link, a very strong relationship to Sasha since uh, ever. We also shared, you know, same musical tastes, and uh, I really liked uh, things that he did as musician. You know, he had uh, his previous band, Heaven's Gate. So I was pretty much uh, close to him since the very beginning, and we always uh, had the dream of uh, of uh, doing something together one day of uh, recording an, an album. So it uh, finally came true when we did uh, the side project, uh, Virgo. And that was a very interesting uh, side project because it, it's not really metal, it's something uh, beyond metal. So it, it deals with many other musical elements and, and influences. But um, anyway, in, independently from, from Virgo, uh, Sasha's always been involved in my works in a way or another, you know. Such a brilliant Absolutely, they are the both 
the same song probably, but in a very different way. For me it was quite symbolic, you know, to have uh, this song, um, which was the very first song that I composed in life, to have it again. Once this is my very first solo album, uh, for me it was something really important, you know, to to go back in time, to try to tell the same story again, but in a different way. It is as like as I would, you know, have met myself many years ago when I started telling a story, and now this story is uh, accomplished. Now the story has a final chapter, and. Uh, Therefore, the song had to be completely re remade and refurbished, and um, I needed to, to, to actually to, to write some new stuff to it, some new parts, some new lyrics. So um, it, it, it gave uh, life to an almost completely new song, but still you can you can perceive and you can notice uh, that the original things are still there, the original elements are still there from, from the original Moonlight version. And that's also why I named it uh, in a different way, A New Moonlight, because it's really a new, a new version of the song. Much longer and uh, in a way much more atmospherical. And uh, it is interesting, you know, just to, to notice the difference between both versions because uh, that's what you know many years in between are able to, to, to give to you you know in, other, in terms of experience and in terms of uh, maturity and everything else so this is my way right now to tell the song that I've written about 20 years ago Yes, we are thinking about touring. Um, maybe there's going to be some kind of surprise for before summer this year in Europe. But anyway, we are looking for playing in some festivals during the summer. And uh, a big European tour is already planned, you know, so it's just about uh, confirming uh, dates. But uh, we definitely, with this release, which has been, you know, uh, spread around uh, European wise. Um, there's there's going to be a very good chance of uh, 